Hello YouTube, another quick video, which I want to show one more book that I received out of that 15 golden age book lot that I recently secured. And this is Wiz Comics number 17. It is not in the greatest shape, but it's not that bad despite its age. Here's a quick view of the front. Here's a quick view of the back. Now this is, I believe, a key Wiz Comics World War II cover. I am going to clean and press, and let's take a closer look at this book. As you can see, there is tape along the spine. I do believe I can remove this tape, so I am going to attempt to do so. And I'll use Bestine solvent as well as heat and we'll try to get it off. It doesn't look like it is that ingrained with the fibers, but we'll see. Only way to find out is to try to do it. Another issue with the book is that someone in the past put holes in it. There's one, two, three, and four. Four holes that go through the book and out through the other side or the back cover. The good thing about it is is that there are still remnants of the cover. It wasn't done with a hole punch. It looks like someone just jammed a sharp item through. It must have been in some type of binder during its life. Here is a nice advertisement for the Captain Marvel cereal. Cereals in the movie theater back then, which is pretty cool. You see here his Captain Marvel. He's missing his Thunderbolt on the chest. Another issue with the book is that I identified color touch. If you can see right here, on top of the Z, it looks like someone used a marker to basically color in a spot that was missing the color on the cover. Another telltale of color touch is that if you look on the inside of the cover, there is bleed through. So the only way I think I can get rid of that is I'm gonna scrape and remove this piece of the cover because I do not want a purple label. Now I checked the book itself with a blue light and I was unable to find any other color touch and hopefully there isn't. So next I'm gonna try to show you what color touch looks like by using a blue light and hopefully the camera will pick it up. I am filming right now in complete darkness with a blue light. Now, if you can see above the Z, there is sort of a little glowing where the color touch is present. So, if I maybe put the camera back a little, you can see it, and you hold the light to the side of the comic. It's really not picking up that well, but here, without the camera, I can definitely see where the color touch is. There you go, there you can see it. So, if you like my videos, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. 
and I will be posting many videos about this comic during the time it takes me to do what I have to do, tape removal, cleaning, color touch removal, and we'll see how it turns out. As you can see here, for some reason, a prior owner did put tape on the cover. I don't see any reason why tape should be there. In addition, they took some pen, which is pretty funny. It looks like pen at least. If it is a pencil, hopefully I can get it out, but they gave Captain Marvel a black eye. So there you have it. Here's the book that I'm gonna be working on and I'll be posting videos in the future about the progress. Again, YouTube, thank you for your support. If you have any questions, any comments, please leave it in the comment section below and stay tuned for future uploads. Take care, YouTube.